Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use something called the geometric mean to solve for different lengths of a right triangle. Now, you remember that in a right triangle, you have to have a 90 degree angle here. So here's this big triangle, we'll call it triangle ABC, has a right angle. Um, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out lengths of sides. And we know that A squared plus B squared would equal to this length here, we'll call it C. And we know that C is eight plus six, so what is it, 14 squared, right? The problem is A squared plus B squared is equal to 14 squared doesn't really give us a chance to determine what A is by itself or B is by itself, right? Because when you have two variables, you really can't solve for one or the other as just a regular number. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something called, again, geometric means, and we're going to create similar triangles here, all right? And by making these smaller triangles, we should be able to figure out what the overall lengths are of all these larger ones. So let me show you how that works. Now, what do we know? We know that similar triangles have proportional lengths, right? So we could say something like, um, let's see, the side here, so 14 is to A, right? 14 is to A, and, and that's hypotenuse is to short leg as hypotenuse A is to short leg 6. Okay? And what we've done here is we've set up this proportion with one variable, and we can use the geometric mean to solve for that variable. Right? And remember how that works. So we're going to do cross products. It's going to be A squared is equal to 6 times 14. Okay, and that's going to be equal to, what, 84. Then you take the square root of both sides, and you'll get A is equal to radical 84. Okay? Now, if you can reduce this, you should. And how do we reduce that? We have to try to find the perfect squares in here. I, I don't try to take the decimal unless they ask you like for a specific length, like, you know, 8.6 meters or something like that. But when it's, uh, when it's just like this and really abstract numbers with no units behind them, keep it in radical form. Okay. That's just kind of acceptable. So how do we figure out what the perfect squares are in 84? Well, you can do a number tree and I know that that's two times what 42, right? And that's just going to be 2 times 21. And there's a perfect square right there. 4 times 21. Okay? So we can rewrite this as radical 4 times radical 21 or 2 radical 21. Now, I know that 21 is a... Um, uh, is a number that doesn't have any more perfect squares in it, right? So we know that this length now, A, is equal to 2 radical 21. Okay. Now we can figure out a whole bunch of things. Um, now we have that this hypotenuse is 14 squared. This A is 2 radical 21 squared. We could solve for B. All right, so that's one thing we could end up doing. We could actually solve for this altitude h, because h squared plus 6 squared would equal this 2 radical 21 squared. We know that um, if we could figure out what this b is, and we figure out what this h is, we could figure out, like, for example, this squared plus this squared would be equal to 6 squared. So there's a whole bunch of different relationships that you can actually solve for. Okay, I hope that was helpful.